We're going to be talking uh, right now to technology journalist Kate Bevan. Morning, Kate. Morning. She's got some good news if you're about to head off on holiday. Travellers within the EU will see a drop in the cost of their mobile phone bills possibly up to 50% on those roaming charges. What are the details, Isabel? Well, Stephen, the cost of using mobile data has been more than halved from 36 pence per megabyte to 16p. So to break this down, for example, if you're uploading one photo per day abroad, this used to cost you £5, but under the changes it will now cost £2.25. And if you're browsing online news for 10 minutes, that used to cost you £12.60. It's now been slashed to £5.60. And if you're checking a map, for example, if you're lost when you're out and about on your holidays, it used to cost you £1.80, but will now set you back 80 pence. Well, okay, Kate, I mean, it's got to be good news that the prices are coming down. What strikes me from that, though, is just how expensive it still it is. It still is. I mean, the, um, the EU is hoping to bring all roaming prices down to local levels, I think, by next year. But it's still, be careful when you're out and about with your phone. Why is it that the prices are, are still so high? Because they can be. Um, basically, you know, the, the mobile operators want to make money. I mean, they're, they're, because they're using each other's networks, there's reciprocal payments and stuff. But, yeah, basically, it still costs quite a lot of money. Use Wi-Fi when you're out and about if you can when you're away. That's the key to all of this, isn't it? And we talk about roaming now purely in terms of data, where of mm. course, it, I mean, it actually applies to just being out of your, your home country, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Is, are we seeing any changes with actual phone calls and text charges yeah, and MMS charges? They're coming down as well. But again, you still have to be circumspect about using your phone when you're away. And also, of course, if you're using voice, unless you're using Skype or Viber or something like that, one of the peer-to-peer um, -peer networks, you can't do it on the voicemail. So it's still, you know, it's something to be careful of, to be aware of. There's been a change on flights now. You don't have to turn your mobile phone mm. off. So I think a lot of people are getting caught by that because they get on board the plane and they don't turn off their data roaming, which a lot of people would do yeah. once they landed in a country and had to alter their phone. But now you can just sort of seamlessly move through. Yeah. And that can catch people out, can't that it? That can definitely catch people out. I mean, you should get a text when you arrive in an EU country telling you what the prices should be. But that's only an EU regulation. So if you're going to the States, for example, you can forget about it. I went to the States last year and I'd spent five pounds on data before I'd got out of the office. I'm like, oh, I'm turning that one off. Right Right now, Gosh. what are the main things to look out for then in terms of you know, even if you think, well, these prices, you know, are a lot better than they were, it's still things like apps auto-refreshing and things. It's apps it? auto-refreshing. Also, if you've got a lot of ad-supported apps, they pull down data as well to show you fresh adverts when you run it. So that's one thing to be really careful of. And also uploading. Remember, that costs money as well. So if you're posting a picture of yourself on the beach, you know, that's going to cost money. Mm. So, I mean, this is all about Europe. What about further afield? Because I guess the, the, the further away you are, you head to somewhere like the United States, yeah, this it's is... going to cost you a shed load money. A shed load. This is just within the EU. So just be aware that even if you step outside, so if you go across the border from France into Switzerland, for example, you're outside the EU and it's going to start costing you an arm and a leg rather than just an arm. Why is it so expensive? In you know, when you're abroad? Because it can be, because, yeah. you know, the mo mobile operators have to make money. Um, they've already, the prices have already come down. They used to be a lot more expensive. And the operators, you know, fought long and hard against that. But, you know, they do have to make money. They've got infrastructures to maintain. So you, you can kind of understand it, but it feels like a lot when you get the bill at the end of the holiday. So golden rule is turn the roaming off. Turn the roaming off. It may be cheaper, but it's still not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, great to talk to you. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed.